In Humboldt County, 300 miles north of San Francisco, Cody Strauss drives to a barn where blueberries were once harvested. These days, there's a much more lucrative crop being cultivated here. Marijuana, or cannabis, as it's also known. Strauss is the CEO of Northern Emeralds, a company that produces indoor-grown cannabis. I created Northern Emeralds because one of the biggest problems in the cannabis industry is having consistency in product. And that's one of the hardest things to do as a farmer, especially a cannabis farmer, is creating a consistent product from yield to yield. A keen eye and a nose for details must also be developed when catering to connoisseurs. It's got a good nose. It's a really good quality smell. I think it's a little bit suffocated because the room was, was run a little bit hot. Smaller formation, not quite as dense as we'd like. I'm thinking we're looking at a gold, you know, lower end of the gold. Strauss and his colleagues Brian Ballou and Madison Booth grade the cannabis on a 100-point score. A platinum-grade batch can command $70 for about three grams at a dispensary. The nose tells you everything up front. It's the first tool that we use. We can tell whether something was cured improperly, tendencies for molds and mildews before they even hit the lab. There's a lot of similarities of what we do here to uh, wine country. The way that each cannabis strain has its own um, terpene profile, its own unique smell. This is a great opportunity for us to bridge the gap in all the details that are really uncharted territory in cannabis. Wines had a long history, coffee's had a long history, and right now it's a new beginning for cannabis. But making Humboldt County the Napa Valley of top shelf cannabis takes a leap of faith. What keeps me up at night right now is the unknown. It's a gamble to be involved in an industry that's not quite set yet. It's dangerous. You know somebody that's been busted. You know somebody whose livelihoods have been taken away from them. Cannabis has been legal to use in California for medical conditions since 1996, but it took nearly 20 years for the state to overhaul its rules to allow entrepreneurs to legally profit on medical cannabis activities. In February 2016, Humboldt became the first California county to create permits for commercial medical pot cultivation. We went through the hassle of applying these permits because we want to be professionals. We are compliant and legal, and it's our goal to really open up to the world in a way that's safe, and having a permit's the first step in that. Meanwhile, a green rush is taking off in the forested hills of Humboldt to grow this prized plant, which can sell for more than $2,000 a pound in California. Humboldt County is inundated with people coming from all over the world and the nation to grow marijuana. Five, six years ago, we have had 1,000, 2,000 grows within the county. Now, the number has gone up to about 12,000 grows. To fight the environmental impact of this green rush, Humboldt's new rules require growers to get state permits to legally take water from rivers and streams. Indoor growers also have to mitigate their carbon footprint. We source all of our power from renewable sources. We capture up to 85% of all the water that we feed our plants in the rooms and reuse it for the following feeding. Even with a permit to operate openly, success is far from guaranteed in the biggest pot growing county in the state. There's a lot of challenges that I face as the owner of a cannabis business. One is having a little bit of prejudice against us to start with. Every step along the way, there's a premium for services rendered to us. Everything from payroll costs, taxes, insurance, workman's comp, what we can and cannot write off. People would think that we're, you know, just raking in the dough, and it's really not that way. We've struggled to be where we are. Each week, Strauss meets with his team to discuss sales and marketing strategies. So I know we've been getting into more and more clubs lately. Um, we've got the Bay Area, we've got Sacramento. How's that working out from a strategic delivery point? We're probably gonna have to start seeing them every week or upping the order every two weeks here pretty soon. Okay. Typically we're producing about 50 to 100 pounds a month of cannabis, and we can't seem to produce enough right now. So we're hoping to wrap up production as soon as possible. Inside one of Northern Emerald's climate-controlled grow rooms, lights help spur the cannabis to flower and produce buds which brim with THC. That's the main chemical in marijuana that generates a high and affects its potency. The plants are then ready to harvest, after that, they're cured for up to a month to remove moisture. 
The trimming team can now get to work, spending six hours a day to meticulously manicure the buds. In the processing room, we have a two-part quality control procedure. It starts with a manicurist who is trained to notice any imperfections in the bud. So they'll look for mold, mildew, and cut it out or discard the bud if necessary. After it's been trimmed, I get to see it a second time and I'll sort it into three or four categories based on size, structure, color, and potency. 40 dispensaries in California sell cannabis produced by Northern Emeralds. But since it's still illegal at the federal level, earnings from cannabis can't be deposited into federally insured banks. So counting stacks of cash is an essential part of this emerging industry. So there's a lot of safety measures that we have to put in that are very costly, very risky when you're handling in large quantities of cash. 5,000 right here. That requires strategy and care and trust. Despite the risks, some are seizing the opportunity right now to turn these fields of green into a crop they can more safely and openly bet on. This gold sapphire that we graded earlier. Put it to the test, see how, it, see how she burns. It's a very exciting time to be in the cannabis industry. Cannabis is exiting prohibition, just like the alcohol industry. And sometimes I feel like we're pulling cannabis business out of its adolescence and into its adulthood. Tastes pretty good. Yeah, actually I forgot how good sapphire tastes. It's a relief that we have the opportunity to come out of the shadows. It's a lot more work, but it's a big relief and I think the people that are gonna do it are gonna be really happy with the results.